The Green Bay Packers were extremely fortunate that the New York Giants decided to release veteran receiver James Jones because not only does Jones know the Packers system from spending seven years there, but it was a particularly bad year to find receivers among the cuts in general. It'll be very interesting to see on Sunday how the Packers go about mixing in the veteran with Randall Cobb, Devontae Adams, Ty Montgomery as they try to patch things together after Jordy Nelson's injury. Peyton Manning will have a rookie left tackle, Ty Sombrello, protecting his blind side. This is a huge deal, especially going against such a strong Ravens front that includes two elite pass rushers in Terrell Suggs and Elvis Dumerville. And then there is any time that Baltimore wide receiver Steve Smith Sr. is covered by Broncos corner Akeeb Tlaib. This is the first time that these two guys have played each other since the infamous Ice Up Sun game in 2013. And whatever battles they have on Sunday should be highly entertaining. Buffalo Bills quarterback Tyrod Taylor gets his first chance to make his first career NFL start Sunday against the Indianapolis Colts. But even though Taylor flashed improved pocket presence and an ability to use his legs as a threat in the preseason, don't count on Buffalo putting too much on his plate just yet. When I visited with Bills general manager Doug Whaley, he said the team's quarterback wouldn't be asked to do too much. The Bills are going to count on playing stingy defense and a productive running game. With that formula, Whaley told me that the Bills can quote, win and win big. Fantasy football players must start Buccaneers running back Doug Martin. The muscle hamster is looking boring the past few seasons, but looks revitalized this preseason. With rookie quarterback Jameis Winston handing him the rock, his workload should be great this weekend. Also, the Tennessee Titans are an easy matchup for running backs. Start Doug Martin.